Welcome back. I'm going to unveil my Tesla Charger version 3.0 today. All right, we've got some big changes. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten panels. Now they're all completely flexible. Only two are in a frame. They all roll up. And then this bottom panel right here wraps around them and they fold up into the tow hitch like before. All right, we're charging away. Oh, and we shouldn't forget the roof panels as well. So that is a nameplate. Uh, 1950 watts so it's 175 for each of the 10 and then uh, 200 on top okay the Tesla guy is charging and we've got Only 1.2 kilowatts coming in at a 2,000. Okay, the big update clearly is that there's no battery back there anymore. And I have now moved the battery into the front. And furthermore, I've replaced the battery with four Battleborn batteries that I happen to have laying around. Well, not many people have four Battleborn batteries laying around, but I upgraded my home system and utilized these batteries that I had left over. So right now, they're just in here, this is a maiden made in charge uh, ground up to 48 volts this is the uh, 48 volt measurement this is the midpoint measurement and I've got a Victron battery monitor right here so we can see fifty-two volts I'm pulling 15 amps from the battery right now drawing 800 watts out of the battery. And they're at 98% charge. All right. So, simple. Um, basically, got really thick cables because I had those left over. Goes into a fuse. And then the main PV cables are actually quite thin. Only six gauge. Um, because primarily I charge right around what I put in and I'll go ahead and lower that to uh, the amount of PV that we have coming in and then this right here is the Victron uh, shunt and so that measures the current in and out of the batteries all right so let's go ahead and go in the car can see charging we're currently charging at 16 amps so I'll go ahead and lower that to 10 amps because that's right around 1.2 kilowatts and then if we go back to the battery monitor you can 
so you were only drawing 0.82 amps. So we're charging right around the same uh, as we're putting it in. Alright, so this is again the Medium Voyage. I got some foam. I'm gonna, uh, I got a whole load of this durable foam and I'll basically pad in between here, make these so they really can't move. Only way they'll get damaged is if I smash into someone. Um, and it closes perfectly. So that's the new system. Big updates are, again, the license plate is mounted to the back, and I also have tail lights. Okay, and the tail lights plug in to the tail light electrical connection. And once you have that plugged in, automatically pulls up this little trailer mode and that keeps your sensors from beeping so overall it's been a clean install and I'm gonna go ahead and show you um, how I did this and what updates I made alright so first everyone's gonna complain like oh why are you only getting 1200 watts out of a 2000 watt system. Okay, so here's the panel that's tilted in this case towards the sun. It's currently almost November, and you can see this little guy. There's a dot and another dot, and the shadow indicates the angle of the sun, and that's right around 15 degrees for this shaded panel. So even, or excuse me, this tilted panel. So even the tilted panel is at, at 15 degrees. And then if we go to all the flat panels, it's not even on the scale. So there, it's 30 degrees. So we're maybe at 40, 45 degrees. So again, you take the cosine of that. Um, and that tells you what your loss is going to be. So if this is at zero degrees, you take the cosine of zero, which is one. And if you take the cosine of the angle that it's at, uh, you can calculate the approximate loss. And we saw earlier we're getting around five amps of current. And these are 10 amp panels at best. So it's pretty much a big loss factor due to the sun's angle on the horizon. Uh, there. Okay, so I've got this ripped out. I pulled a circular grommet out of that little spot down there. This is going to be a really easy access point right in here to put some wires through and that simply goes under here all right you just pull out <clears throat> a couple of things pull out some the clips here these have a bunch of little clips come out pull this and then right here, where this big ground wire is, you can see I made a little indentation. That's where my wires are going to come through. And then we will route them all along here and along the side and into the back.
All right, this side's all buttoned up. Nothing to see. Everything looks good. And now, onto the rear. Okay, so the wires are under here, going along that trace. Right there. This is the battery shunt. Right. So we need to connect that to the outgoing cables. We need to connect this to this to get 48 volts. This is a fuse, which might replace this. <coughs> Let's get started here. 